Hello and welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Theories, the show that covers the theories you may or may not have been asking ever since you started playing Pokemon. This show covers theories such as Red becoming a champion to the Kanto Wars. So if you have a theory burning in your mind, stay tuned and I might just address it. Please note that in all my videos, if I use images from Google, that I do not own any of those images, and all images attained from Google are owned by their respective owners and copyrights. So please remember this when watching my Pokemon theories. Thanks. Hello and welcome back YouTubers, I'm Proto Mario, and today's Pokemon theory is that humans evolved from Pokemon. This is a reference from the Can Lave Library in Platinum, Pearl, and Diamond, I believe. But first, we need to establish what is evolution. It is the change in the inherited characteristics of a biological population's over successive generations. Evolutionary process gives rise to the diversity at entry level of biological organizations, including species, individual organizations, and molecules such as DNA and proteins. So more or less, your species before you learned a lot, and now you know that off the get-go. Pretty nice. So in Pokemon, evolution occurs after enough experience is gained which is a barbaric way of saying hey I'm stronger for my experiences except that the strength is physically manifested more like literally I just watched this guy fly I shot a thunderbolt at him and he fell from the sky then I sprouted wings from my back and learned how to fly so let's just agree that evolution isn't displayed so perfectly in Pokemon so, what did humans evolve from? Which Pokemon? Mr. Mime? Gardevoir? Lopunny? Infernape? We can speculate that many fighting types may look human-esque, like Machoke, but no Pokedex entries link them to being human, or ever possibly have been human, except for that weird thing with Kadabra. But that's... A whole nother side note. There are many Pokemon in the human shape egg category, but again, that's only an egg group. The only semi close to being human Pokemon and having a Pokedex entry confirming this is Jinx, believe it or not, being the human shaped Pokemon. Nevertheless, humans evolved from Pokemon. Doesn't that seem a bit off? I mean, what was actually gained? Some Pokemon are extremely close to humans and have powers that far surpass that of humanity. For example, our Gazam with its psychic abilities. But it's not just that. The fact that humans retain literally no greater survival instincts than that of the said Pokemon. In fact, I would be willing to say that humanity de-evolved rather than evolved with the lack of added characteristics. But that would only be true if humanity did not have the ability to think outside of its survival instincts. Not to say that most Pokemon don't have free will, it's that humanity evolved past the only need to survive, and now is able to divert its spare time into creativity. With this evolution, humans learned to enslave anything that endangered it, namely Pokemon. There is a bit of evidence to support that humans are actually evolved versions of Pokemon. Take, for example, gym leader Sabrina. She has the ability to use her own psychic powers. Though she was a bit crazy in the anime, in the game she continues to show that she does have psychic powers indeed and is referenced to have them. And then also take the Elite Force Bruno. He's a pretty tough guy. In the show, he takes on a giant onyx and pulls out a sand slash between the giant onyx. Pretty strong. So, I, if 
he may have evolved from a Machoke or a Machamp. Who knows? And then, of course, speaking of the Elite Four, there's Will, another psychic-type person. But then how many people do you meet that are actually quote-unquote psychics and mountain men and things of this nature? So, yeah, there's definitely instances of some type of evolution, if not all. So, to say humans evolved from Pokemon is questionable on what their evolution gave them. Besides a sense of entitlement, slavery, cockfighting, and using Pokemon for their daily work. So, basically, to sum it up, humans evolved from Jinx, became survivors, enslaved creatures, used them for hard labor, battled them in arenas for fun, used them in wars, and keep them in tiny capsules around their belts. Evolution, you say? I'm not so sure. But, I digress, guys. The proof is, humans evolved from Pokemon, and the closest link is a Jinx. So I'm Protomari, and I'm signing out, and if you have something to contribute to this Pokemon theory, please leave it in the comment section below. I would definitely love to hear it, because there's very, very minute uh, material on the subject matter, which made this an extremely hard theory to cover. Uncovering this information alone was more on the basis of research of evolution, speculation, and thoughts, so I'm sorry if it's a bit vague, but you can blame the Pokemon creators for that, because they didn't give enough evidence to actually show which Pokemon we evolved from, but that we definitely did evolve from Pokemon. So thanks for watching guys, and remember to please like, favorite, comment, and of course subscribe if you haven't already. I hope you enjoyed that video guys, and now time for a service announcement from the Maverick Army. Tired of the norm? Is it time for a revolution? Join the rebellion and become a Maverick today by subscribing to Proto Mario. Remember, together we can create a new world order of gaming. Mavericks Unite.